Well, here's something more and more people are talking about, innovative ways to try to get kids to enjoy reading. It's a key ingredient to any successful student. Ten TV's Jeff Hogan reports on one unorthodox way to boost kids' reading skills. And the story you'll see only on Ten TV. Man's best friend is branching out these days. Multitasking, if you will. I didn't listen there. Come again? Yeah, the dog really actually pays attention. Classic canine stuff? It's just not enough anymore. Reading to a dog because they think it's sort of a fun thing to do. Her Bernese Mountain lineage aside, Berg is a rare breed, assisting in the Tail Wagon Tutors program at Westerville Public Library. When it's time for the kids to read, they sit down, she sits down next to them, and she listens. It doesn't even matter that all the stories sound the same to her. I think what's really important is to break it out of their shell, that they're not so afraid to be around either a dog or an adult, and they generally start reading louder and louder. She met a dog. If you think they're barking up the wrong tree, consider this. Dogs don't judge you. They're always happy. Don't worry about it, said Jack. It's made for positive results. I just think because it uses training and reading to at least somebody before you read to actual real person. Whether it's getting over shyness or just getting confidence about their ability to read aloud or whether it's actually improving the reading, I hear about it from the parents. However you can get them to love reading or enjoy reading, I think it's a wonderful thing. From entry-level readers, they go to chapter books in a matter of weeks. It is because of the dog. It may only be an hour a week, but it's... For four, five, six, seven kids, it's, it's very vital. Eventually they reach a, reach a point where we don't see them anymore, and it's sad, but it's a good thing. That's called graduation. High fives for everyone. In Westerville, Jeff Hogan, 10 TV News. How cute. Yeah. This program runs Wednesdays and Sundays at Westerville Public Library. Delaware Library also has a similar program, and it's been popping up in local schools recently. A great thing.